Sometimes the holiday season can be a major pain in the butt, but this guy really has a pain in his butt. I'm feeling festive on today's Sunday case study. We have a 45 year old male who after going and stealing all the presents in Whoville, begins to develop a pain in his left butt cheek. He noticed it earlier in the holiday season, but it wasn't quite as bad until he's been doing a lot of lifting in the past few days. In fact, he can't even sit and get relief anymore. So he went to his doctor and this MRI scan was done. Here is his MRI scan. And here are the axial views of the MRI. So what's the cause of this pain in the butt? What other workup should we do? And is there any other treatment we can offer him besides surgery? Should he stop stealing presents in Whoville? Stay tuned tomorrow and I'll go through the whole case. And Merry Grunchmas. How can something like this inside of your back cause a pain in your butt? Yesterday I presented the case of a 45 year old male who was in Whoville and stealing presents and developed a pain in his butt. His MRI shows this large mass that's very circular inside of his spinal canal. When we look at an MRI, these are the bones that are in the back, these are the discs, and then this area is where all the nerves travel. So you see this big circle right here. The axial images is when we take the spine and we look at it from the top down like this. Here we see the vertebral body, and then this is the spinal canal where all the nerves travel, and all these little gray dots are the nerves that are inside, and the white is the CSF or spinal fluid. If we go down to the level where the patient has the spot, we can see right here that there is this large circular mass that seems to be arising from the facet joint. What's a facet joint? I've taught you guys the anatomy of the spine in previous videos, but let's just go through it again. You have the bone, the disc, and the bone. So when you lean forward and lean back, what moves is the disc and the facet, which is the joint that slides on each other in the back part of our spine. Here's a really nice illustration of what the facet joint is. So the joint is right here and it has normal synovium or fluid within a joint, just like every joint in our body. And it can be affected by arthritis, just like every joint in our body. And right here shows a picture of a joint with facet arthritis. Here is what the synovium looks like whenever you have arthritis in your facet joint. When you have arthritis in your facet joint, it can form cyst. And if we look right here at this diseased joint, it sits right next to the nerve. Here's an illustration of a synovial cyst where basically you have the synovium or the fluid right here and how it forms this little cyst pocket that can compress the nerve here, thus causing the buttock pain. Sometimes even the tiniest little cyst can cause extreme pain. Sometimes the synovium can be more viscous or thick and sometimes the cyst products can be more thin like water. On anybody with a synovial cyst, you always wanna check flexion extension x-rays where you have the patient stand up lean forward and lean back to check the motion of the spine. Sometimes synovial cysts are associated with the spondylolisthesis or a slip disc where basically one vertebrae can shift forward on the next vertebrae and the treatment would be very different from that. On this patient's x-rays, there was no signs of any instability. So what's the treatment? We usually do start with conservative treatments such as physical therapy because these cysts can resolve on their own. We can also try medications like anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxers, and Lyrica or Gabapentin to treat the nerve pain. Injections can help too, and we can do injections into the facet joint itself. And sometimes we can even stick a needle into the cyst and aspirate the cyst contents, making it go away. In my opinion, in a cyst this size with this dense of a capsule, most likely it's going to respond best to surgical treatment. Because this patient has no instability, we can easily go in through a small two centimeter incision and remove that cyst and all of its contents, and the patient can go home the same day. If the cysts come back, or if there is any signs of instability in the spine, we usually recommend surgical fusion of that level. I usually tell my patients there's about a 25% risk of the cysts coming back in the future. And now that the Grinch is feeling better, he can return all the presents to Whoville. Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Right, Butters?